Waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm not waiting anymore. What's up, fish tank people? In the box, Dustin's fish tanks bringing it to you. Surprise event on a Monday. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Your boy D is uh, excited and motivated. The sun has been hitting me, and uh, we are feeling good about life. Got a short week this week. I gotta tell you, I am uh, super jacked about the way things are going. So today's live stream, I want to motivate you with a couple of quotes uh, that I think are good to hear on a Monday because I'm a motivational quote guy. And then I want to show you some of the fish in here and uh, how they're doing because I got some new fish and I also want to show you guys uh, what I actually fed them to get them healthy. And uh, this is all fake, but if you're here, you can enjoy the fakeness with me. Hello, everyone. So yeah, this is the uh, fake 220. I mean, first, we got to go to the quotes. The, uh, the quote, the Spartan quote, that I love. You guys know the Spartans, right? A little history major here. The Spartan quote is this. The Spartans from Greece Greece. You guys know about the Spartans, right? They were like the best warriors ever. Uh, they said, sweat hard in training so you'll bleed less in war, which I think is a badass quote. And then I got another quote for you. This is an illusionary quote. There's no growth without discomfort. So there's your two Monday quotes. You ready? It's nothing to do with fish tanks, just about life. About life because Dusty wants to bring you the real life here. Again, I'm going to say the quotes again. The first quote is this from the ancient Spartan warriors sweat more in training, bleed less in war. And the other quote is um, what's the other quote? Oh, yeah, there's no growth without discomfort. So take those two quotes and stick them in your ears and let them do you some darn good. So, without further ado, I would like to uh, show y'all what's going on, man. What's going on? Oh, I got all the peoples in the mix. What's up, everybody? You guys doing good? This is fun for me. You know why it's so much fun? I had an editor come to my house today and chop up a video that I just was like, pow, pow, pow. And I've got a sick video for you guys tomorrow. So I'm super jacked about that because I can spend more time like, like making out in front of the camera with you guys with this fake live stream that I'm doing right here. I can just like get all cozy and stuff because I don't have to worry about pulling the edit in and taking the video and overlay it and all that. I got it all going on. I got it going on. So I'm stoked, so I'm happy, so I'm just like coming live to rant. Can I do a fake rant? Jankwee Poland, what's up Poland? Hello, hell yeah. So this is one time, this is fake. This is all fake, it's not, I'm not even really this happy. This is all fake happy. So I'm glad you guys are here for the fake happy. So, uh, yeah, so I'm really excited about life. Hope everybody's doing good, and I hope that you have a nice short week ahead of you. And um, yeah, I got you two motivational quotes. But uh, I do wanna talk about what happened in this 220, and it's good news. The, um, the, uh, yeah, I added a bunch of Hamburg Blacks. I'll bring you guys up here. I added the Hamburg Blacks. The, the one that came, her name was Karen. And uh, Karen's here. And uh, that's actually not Karen. Karen was crunk Karen. And uh, this dude right here is already trying to get busy with her. He's like, oh, where are you at, girl? Look at him. Look, he's following her around, chasing her. Bought her a drink. Now they're heading around the aquarium. He's like, oh, you want to go over here? I'll go over here with you. Oh, you want me? Yeah, we can be friends. So, uh, yeah, so he's running around there. And uh, screen, sh whoa, I don't know what that means. But, yeah, so he's following her around. But uh, I want to show, though, I was feeding, and this is the big thing, Crunk Karen, um, typical guy's chasing tail. Hey, oh, I got a super chat. Oh, my God, somebody gave me money. I can't believe it. I've never had it. Here's a super fake. Where's a good place to get Diana Wallstead's book? I'm going to do you better than that. I'm going to show you Diana Wallstead's book right now so all y'all can know this because you need to learn it because you got the Dustin version, you get the Wallstead book. Diana Wallstead, I believe, sells her book online. I've met Diana Wallstead. <sighs> she's, not, she's not as enthusiastic as I am. Let's put it that way. This, my fish tank friends, is... The Ecology of the Planet Aquarium by Diana Wallstead. This is the good stuff, folks. This is the good stuff. Now, I don't know where to get it, and I got no uh, thing, but it is very, very dense. So all you young kids that I sometimes forget that I'm talking to, this isn't for you. Like, if you're, like, under, like, 13, this book is probably not for you. But it's real legit, and it talks about, like, uh, water circulate. It's, it's, it's rich. I mean, it's, like, real, 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 real rich. So you're going to want to, like, you know, read it in chunks. I mean, it reads like a textbook. But it is a bad uh, baller, baller book. So I don't know where to pick it up, but this is definitely a really, I highly recommend this. Anyone like, I don't know, 15, 16, I don't know how smart you guys are. You're all smart, but this is, this is a thick book. So then, of course, you got the Dustin's Dirty Tank Guide, Shameless Plug, which is like simple version of that. So I don't know where to pick that up, but 
Uh, I was talking about uh, Karen Crunk. So Karen Crunk is actually not uh, visible on this live stream at this time, but she'll come out if I give her some of the Crunk flakes. But uh, I want to talk about this stuff. Uh, this is from Brian Shrimp Direct. Now, if you click the links around here, if I actually do that, I might do that. Um, this was recommended to be my guy named Mike Barber. Uh, Brian Shrimp Direct with Metrodize It All. Metrodize It All Flakes. I really recommend that. That is the good stuff. And uh, if you do that, you will have the, um, you'll, you'll feed the, you got to feed them. I've talked about this a lot, but you, Clarence, what's up, dude? Um, you got to feed them where the problem is. So the problem's in their gut. So you got to get the stuff into their gut. So it's in their gut. So they're like, all right, cool. I mean, and then that metrodize it all kills whatever's going on in their gut. So that's the move. So you got to feed them in their gut. And uh, you want to look for their poop. You got to look at the poop. I don't know what else to tell you. But um, you got to look at the poop. So I'm going to attempt to get out uh, Crump Karen. But I want to give this Pleco some more love here. Check this dude out. This dude right here is just killing it right here. He's like the MVP right now. This tiny little Pleco is just devouring all this algae on there. Can you guys see that? I think that's pretty fun, right? That dude, he's just killing it. Tearing apart. He's got that whole rock. He's like, dude, I ain't stopping until I clean this rock. That's what he's saying. So, D did not have any extra Dunkin' Donuts today, but Dunkin' Donuts is delicious. But check it out, though. There's the babies. They survived. Look at that. They survived. They're fine. The Hamburg Black. The next generation is here. So, we're excited about that. And I've got Noah's Ark going on. And I didn't, I didn't I capitulate this. Capitulate. I didn't, uh, what's the word? I didn't explain this well enough in Sunday's video. That's why I'm coming on here today. Um, but, uh, the, yeah, so the philosophy that I have here is that, like, I'm not actually really stoked about so many, like, three of that type, two, like, oh, he's just chasing tail, just, just right on camera, doesn't he, not even shy about it, but, um, like, it's looking all right, and, like, but I just wish that I had, like, all one species, but like, I tell you, like, I'm enjoying the very house, I'm enjoying, like, the big happy family, though, so, yeah, um, someone's asking what happened with the mystery snails tank, would you like for me to go and show you the mystery tank, can I get a one, can you just type one real fast? This is fake. It's a fake word. This is fake. You like the tank? This is, by the way, a Krenum Natanz, by the way. Krenum Natanz. Christy is on here. Christy is the uh, moderator of all things human. You want to see the snail tank? All right. It's gross. It's nasty. It's real, though. Everybody wants to see it? Okay. All right. Yo, yo. One, one, one. Okay. All right. We'll do it. Your Natanz died because you didn't have high enough calcium levels. Let's go over to the tank here. So I got to turn the lights on pick you up. I got to go like this. You can't see my nose. Look at that. I got the busted nose. Because Esty used to like to punch people when he was drunk. So here's what's going on over here. We'll turn the timer on. Hey, let's look at this, folks. This is called a timer. If you've never used a timer before, I don't know what you're missing. But um, you turn it. So I, have my, I even have my daughter trained to turn the timer like this. And then watch. It goes click. One, two, three. Oh, lights on. Now let's Switch the camera around. Squid drunk. How would I be drunk? I don't even drink. So this is the Sino tank right here. And uh, don't forget to hit the like. Yeah, I like your style. So look, I have, a, I have snail on snail action. Look at that. Snail on snail action. That's real, but robust. So I was hoping that they were eating the Sino, but um, they're, they're doing all right. They're eating algae for sure. And I put like 45 in here. And you know what? Can I tell you the truth? I poured 45 in here, and you know what I didn't do? I didn't videotape it. You know why? Because it was for me. I did it late at night. I was all alone. No one was around, and I just did it. I just put them all in there, and it looked cool as hell. I got to tell you, it was fun. You guys didn't get to see it because I kept it. I kept it for me. I kept it personal. So every now and then, I'm going to do some fish tank stuff, and you're not going to get to watch it. Just, I'm just going to tell you that. You're not going to get to watch it. So that's okay, though. But look, here's all the snakes. These are from Christy in Chicago. She's the one right here. Do I like Aqua Deco backgrounds? I do. I think they're all right. Um, yeah, so we're good. But uh, if you didn't see them, they must be fake. Correct. So they're actually, I don't know if they're really eating the sino or not. It appears as if they are, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I want them to eat that hair out. Look at that. But they're just doing a nice job. I'm allowed to have quiet time? No, I'm not. Don't you know, Christy? Everything needs to be documented. I have to be on Instagram 24-7. Drunk Dusty. No, I didn't punch a lady. All right, I'm not going to get into that conversation here. But So yeah, so there's the, there's the mysteries from Christy on here. So I got to give her a, thou, a shout out. Got a good quit to a shout out. I can't even say it. So thank you for these. And uh, yeah, this is a, a fun little tank for me. So yeah. So uh, am I feeding them or they're just eating algae? I'm not feeding them at all. They're only eating algae. So that's what they're doing. There you go. So what is up with you freaks? Everybody doing good here? I got time. 
I got my video done for tomorrow. I'm coming live today. I'm trying to bring it to y'all on a Monday. I got a Black Friday sale. Got all kinds of crazy plants. Got some big news happening soon that I can't share yet until it's done. But we're real stoked. So yeah, I'm doing good. D is happy with life. Watching from Oklahoma. The sham wow guy, you're going to be saying wow when you see what Dustin does with that pink gravel pissing your wife off, pissing your life off. What's the Black Friday sale? Well, first of all, I can't tell you the Black Friday sale, but it's going to involve a lot of really cool plants. Some stuff that I've never had in before. There's also going to be a little bit of Dragonstone, perhaps. Might even put lights on sale. I don't know. I don't know, folks. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How can I help you all? That's how I want to do it. I just want to do it. So I've got some ideas for some videos I'd like to share. Actually, I'm not going to do that because people probably copy my shit, so I'm just not going to do it. But uh, anybody have any ideas for videos they'd like for me to do? I shouldn't have sworn. Sorry. Question, sword plant melts back how long ago? I'll go to Q&A. Let's do it. Sword, it depends on the tank. Donna, Kate, what's up? Um, yeah, so the, sure, the question at hand here is um, how long does it take for the sword to grow back? Well, it depends on the condition of the tank. Swords are heavy root feeders, so you're going to want to make sure that um, you're feeding them at their roots. And uh, call it three weeks, two, three weeks, depending upon the plant. So, yeah, I can't believe I got a super chat. That was awesome. Um, B, Phil Swift, bring your flex tape. I don't know who that is, but okay. Old-fashioned Q&A. Yeah, I got to go to Q&A. Do I like the king of DIY? Uh, I don't like the king of DIY. I love the king of DIY. I just think he's such a hunk, and he's just got such big muscles, and the way he just makes those fish tanks. and the videos. Yeah, I'm friends with Joey. Joey and I live in the box together. I don't have a choice to be friends with Joey. <laughs> Joey's cool. Uh, I wish he would have came to AE too, and he regrets it too. He texted me while it was going on. D, one of the original top five fish lovers. Give him love and likes the video. Thanks, Zach. Appreciate it, dude. Thanks for the tip on the um, on the not deleting the videos. I was deleting videos and losing stuff. First order of plants past week. I'm loving it. Can you give me more advice about the Mayaka? You got to talk to Josh about the Mayaka. That's Josh's baby. Josh will tell you. It's a, it's a little more sensitive. Um, but nah, it's good. It's a meat. It doesn't take much. A little water flow. That's the Mayaka right there. I don't even know if it's on the site. Is that on the site? I don't know. Don't go to don't go to my website off of YouTube videos. YouTube will slap me around like a bad girl or boy. Why do you think you're in a tan side, Clarence? I told you, class a ago. Are you a fish tank tool? I'm a huge fish tank tool, according to Massive Clarence. I'm supposed to be doing a collab with him at some point. I need to figure that out. It's hard though. It's difficult. Excuse me, burping. What'd you guys think of Josh on camera the other day? Was he good? Everybody smash the like button over and over. Yeah, do it. Sure. Uh, bromance. Yeah. Can you get some Marsilia? I'm going to have a whole entire field of it, but not right now. Oh, low battery. Here we go. Now everything's going to go to crap. That's what happens. Dustin, some dank plants from Josh on Black Friday. We can help you out with dank plants. Dusty's dank plants. Plug it in the mic. Plug it in so we don't lose it. Hang on. Sorry for the choppiness. So, yeah, my new editor has a 360 camera. How cool is that? And I didn't get rid of the old editor, by the way. Milton's still the man. It's just harder to work remotely with somebody. So do I like, let's see here, growing upon jetons, get coffee folia to grow of all things. Couldn't get coffee folia to grow all things. I wonder why. The coffee folia, it likes a higher pH. How many different species do you have in a community tank at once? Yeah. Randy Tex is getting deleted. Uh-oh, what'd Randy say? Randy's a friend. I don't know. She's getting deleted. My pond tunnel base is growing like a weed. Everything else I order is growing slow. Pond tunnel base grows like a weed. Can you get some Marsilia? Did I already answer that? This is fake food. Cool. What's the best type of Anubias? The best type of Anubias is whatever Anubias you can grow. I like Anubias. This is Anubias Barteri right here. Check this Barteri out. I'm just going to give you guys a tour. This is Anubias Barteri right here. It's a Barteri, big, thick, big. And this is Nana, smaller stuff. What's fake good news? Oh, the fake good news is that the, the, the fish didn't get eaten. That's the fake good news. Techno. Oh, I would love to play some beats for you all. Josh, whoa. Randy Tex, 25? I thought that Randy, huh? Wow. People are getting deleted. This is crazy. I wonder what people are saying. I wish I knew what was going on behind the scenes. If you leave swords completely dead and you still have roots, yes, it can still grow back. YouTube likes 30, 360 cams. Do they really? Well, YouTube doesn't like me. I can tell you that much. Do you like jewel fish tanks? Sure. How can I keep clown loach from eating my plants? My clown loach has never eaten my plants, so I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what your problem is there, George Fish Tank, but uh, yeah. I wouldn't worry about that. I would feed them better, probably. What's your favorite small fish and why? Ooh. You know what? It's the Neon Tetra. Straight up. Small fish, like off the cuff, no, no time to think about it. Neon Tetra. You know why? Because Neon Tetras are like 
the core, man. They are like the they are like the old old not no, 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 ODB. That's more like an Oscar fish. They're like the uh, they're the original like they're the original like bout it rowdy like like you know one Neon Tetra like they changed the game, man. They're easy. They're beautiful. Like the whole thing. I think Neon Tetra's if I had to pick one, they school great. They're a little bit more finicky. I mean, they're not as easy to keep as some other fish. So I'm rolling Neon Tetra. Just straight up, just smallest fish. Got to go with that. What's up, everybody? So uh, let's see here. Uh, people talk. Uh, people can talk about cannabis, whatever. I mean, people smoke it. I'm not gonna be talking about it, but you guys can. That's fine. Um, let's see here. Bought water higher since it's dying. Bright lights, but no help. You need more nutrients in your water. It shouldn't be dying. All right. Let's see here. Snails won't reproduce. You got to give them time. All my plants are dead except two Kleiner Barcelona and Joffrey. I don't know what to, you got to tell me more about it. What is your stance on radioactive glowfish? Glowfish. I do not like glowfish. I'm not a fan of glowfish. Um, I'm not a fan. I don't know. There's, there's my stance. Uh, what are your thoughts on pogo stamon? Still, I've never kept it actually. Uh, oh, there's children. Psychedelic babe, good call. They don't know. What, I'm a mother. Hey, it's fine. Whatever. We can keep that. Um, make kids do it. All right. Tell Josh. Thanks for the Kabama Carolina. Great choice. Grows like crazy. Yeah. Josh, I got to tell you guys this. Can I give Josh some credit? Josh is out there right now. If you've, ever, if you've never ordered, not ordered from me, you know how this goes. I'll just give you the spiel. Um, so I pick what goes on the site and I make sure it grows and we grow it and everything. But then Josh, Josh runs the greenhouse. So Josh manages the greenhouse and the customer service. And I got to tell you, like he, he, we will have situations where customers have a problem and Josh will fix that problem and then they will reorder it. So Josh is the man. So if you've never dealt directly with Josh, like Josh, not only does he, is just a complete wild man, he exudes passion, which is, which is what I love. Like I would like, I love Josh for that. And we, have, we you don't see the fights Josh and I get into. It's pretty brutal, but like, but it's because we care. And so we get into these real heated arguments, but Josh is the man and Josh has figured out how to like dial it all in. I mean, Josh has my little baby greenhouse uh, dialed in like just a champ, man. I mean, he hits the water changes. He knows when to hit the iron. He knows when to hit the growth juice. I mean, he has it just like dialed in. So like when we're selling a plant nowadays, like he's got it just bumping. So it's Josh. Like if you want to do, if you want the guy that actually knows what's going on, like Josh, Josh is the guy. Like if you're like, hey, what's good in the greenhouse? Like ask Josh, cause he just had his arm, the arm elbow went up there. So yeah. What's going on? How do you, how do you react? You know, <laughs> that's a great question. I got, uh, so yeah, I love Josh. I got asked, uh, how did I react to the aquatic experience? I actually, uh, I actually had words with the WPA about their glowfish tank when they first walked in because it had a, glow, a big glowfish tank and I took a photo of it. I didn't, I didn't blow them up, but I took a photo of it and I was like, this can't happen or like, this is not what we're trying to represent. So whatever. Uh, Josh is the man. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, Josh is the man. So if you order for me and you have like a problem, like Josh fixes it. Or you order for me and you have a question, Josh handles it. More ghetto videos. Uh, for like an hour one day. Oh, dude, Josh is the man, dude. Yeah, Jack Clarence, you know Josh. Yeah, he hooks it up. He knows what's up. Good call on the v, uh, v stag. Hit the like button. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, cool. Arrowfish. Hey, I got a question for you all. You all. Oh, I don't ship to the UK, sorry. I just play beats with my people in the UK because they have a better appreciation for electronic music. Miles, have you seen the new Sasha Refracted? Oh my God, he remixed all of his old stuff. Very happy, thank you, Don. Um, I need it. Josh is the Plant Whisperer. Josh was trained by the Plant Whisperer, but now he knows he can watch. We watch plants grow. You don't believe us? We watch them grow. We know we can watch them grow. Like we know how to watch them grow. It's crazy. So anyway, you saw the video. Good. Um, and Miss Lenita, I remember you from, you were on, uh, what's his faces? Uh, Rob's last night. Go him. So, all right. So here's my question to you. This behind me here is a 300 or 220 gallon aquarium. I've done the planet tank thing. What, if you were me, would you do if I had a 320 gallon aquarium? I got a 320 gallon aquarium out of my garage. What would you do? What should I do in it? I'm thinking cichlids. I'm thinking of giant, like the biggest rockscape you've ever seen in your entire life, and then a bunch of crazy cichlids. And I got cichlid vendors all over the place, so I could get that done. Imperial Tropicals probably hooked that up. So cichlids, what do you think? African cichlids? I want to show, oh, you know what I was thinking about doing? I was thinking about doing Oscars. I love Oscars. They have all that personality. They're big. They're, they're like, raw, big, raw dogs. I get some like really select Oscars. What do you think? Trophius, South American. 
I got South American going on in here a little bit though. Cichlids, you like cichlids? You like the cichlids? Biggest shrimp tank ever. That's Rob. Flip Aquatics is about to do that actually. How about a big shrimp colony? Hey, and a 320 be lost. Ugh, Oscars. Yeah, Christy, you would say ugh to that. All right, going from Tetris to Cichlids is a big jump. Oh, come on. Cichlids are, cichlids are a joke. Cichlids are easy. South American Cichlids, Glow Knife. Get a Bobbit Worm. What is that? Puffers? Yeah, I don't know. Large Oscars. I think Oscars would be bomb. I think just giant Oscars, but I'd have to get some sort of a cool bottom feeder. What could I put at the bottom the bottom layer? Problem is, is I want to like get people to like I want to I want to see an attempt to do a planet tank with Oscar. So if I, because like the thing that the reason I don't keep large large fish like monster fish is because I don't like the way that they like thrash a tank. Like you have like some monster fish and it's like cool and it's this big dog up in your up in your grill, but then like it destroys everything in your tank. But if I put an Oscar here, you know what I, the carnage it would do to all these plants, which is what I like. And by the way, plants make life easier. So don't do monster fish. Who said that? <laughs> Love it. Love it. All right. I say self-cleaning crayfish shrimp. Eh. All right. No monsters. Giant. Dusty. Ever consider high-tech tank CO2? I got a lot in the works. We'll just put it like that. We got a lot in the works. Uh, yeah. 320-gallon brackish tank with some blue. Look at that. Oscars and loaches. What kind of loaches would you put? Loaches get big. Karen, what's up, girl? How you doing? Look good. Floating plant. Discus man. Bottom feeders. Get a lawyer. <laughs> oh, man. So, Yeah. That's Dusty. That's me on a Monday. It's a good day. Running out of breath, though. I ran this morning, too. So I shouldn't be out of breath, but I'm out of breath. I'm talking too much. Thoughts on a Pondraton Bova Anus? I have the best Pondraton Bova Anus ever available at DustinFishNakes.com. Don't go there from YouTube. Go there later. Um, yeah. What should I do for Black Friday? What do you guys think? Black Friday. Oh, Pond Friend is awesome. Oh, dude, dude. Uh... Psychedelic, babe. He is the man. Hey, Psychedelic, what's up with your, uh, what's up with that tank you got promoting, you're doing promotion for, for that, like, uh, the blind people? What's up with that? Dollar school. Playing on discus here. Go shopping. Ha <laughs> ha. Plant packages. Plant packages on sale. We can do that. We can do that. Buy one, get one free on Plants of Black Friday. Oh, man. I don't know. Buy one. Yeah, we'll see. There you go. Buy one, get one. Everybody likes to buy one, get one. Flight school, I emailed you. I know, I you emailed you. I got the email. How's it going? I'm asking. I got the email. I promoted it. How's it going? Buy one, get one percentage off. All right, you guys are making this. It's got to be easy. It can't be hard. It can't be hard. Buy one, get three. Yeah, that's next year. So anyway, anybody got any other questions here? What can I do? Spend all my money in Imperial Tropics. <laughs> Joey Mullen donated 100. Oh, nice. Joey's the man. I told you guys Joey was a good dude. He's too big, though. He needs to, like, stop working out as much. What do you think? Discount on the lights? I could do discount. You guys think that Joey's too big? Can we talk about Joey's muscles for a minute? Get him on here. God, I hope he'd come on right now. I'd make fun of him to his face. Yeah, no. Joey's too big. He's got. He's like, he's, like, too muscular these days. He needs to, like, slim it down a little bit. <laughs> he might be too big. <laughs> this is too much fun. Mermaid Joey. Joey's too big. I agree. You should please comment on Joey's video and say Dustin said you're looking a little too big. He denies hitting the gym. Oh, right. Cool. All right, folks. So Dusty has to go. What's oh, oh I got a good question here. What's the most important thing about plants? Substrate, lights, or ferts? If I had to pick one and put it in order, it would be substrate first with lights second. Because you can get away with good substrate and bad lights, but you cannot get away with good lights and bad substrate. My humble opinion. Sorry to flick you all off. No. Okay. How can he be too big? I'm joking. Dude, swell for sure these days. Can you kill a 300 gallon? Blah, blah, blah. Joey needs to go back to the green screen days. No, he doesn't. Joey's, Joey's doing Joey, man. Good for him. People ask me all the time, like, what do you think about him? Like, so did Joey set up, like, Bill, I've been looking at the rear gallon aquarium every week for like five years. Like, cut him some slack. You know how hard those videos are to make? Are you shipping to Canada? No, I can't. It's illegal. Uh, bro, do you need an artist? I need I need more shirts is what I need. <laughs> cool. All right, everybody. Did you guys enjoy this? I got a couple minutes left here. What's soil? I don't know. I think my kids are coming home soon. They, hey, you guys you know what we should have to celebrate about? The fact that this Wi-Fi didn't drop. How about that? Is that entertaining? So, all right. Yep. D's got to go pick up children. Young children. Peacock bass are in the mix for the 320, by the way. So... All right, folks, Dusty got to run, tank on with this fake video. Yeah, I'm out. Bye-bye. Later.
Good video tomorrow about sub shit. Did you enjoy this? Can I get a like, share, thumbs up? Got to go. Have a good one. Take on. I don't even know how to turn it off. Later. And bye-bye. Thanks for the super chat.